Hello again, uh, I'm here with another update from Mysterious Space. Uh, I've got sound working in the recording, as as promised. Uh, it's actually probably quite loud for you right now, so let me go ahead and show off some little features. We'll go for eggplant. Oh. Mm, grapes. Uh, so uh, this is, I guess I, when I was working on the last update, I kind of jokingly was calling it the prettiness update. Uh, and if that was the prettiness update, I think this is kind of the UI completeness update or something. So I've done the settings dialog at, least at last, and let's turn down the sound volume quite a bit. Uh, there's no music, but I'm planning on it. There's support. If I may have mentioned before, the library I'm using for uh, making Mysterious Space is really bad about music support, so there's no music in. Um, the first time controls, this isn't working right now, uh, right now it's always disabled, but if you remember when you start a new game, it shows you little controls like, hey, to move, press the arrows, and all that. So, if you want to disable that in the future, you can, you can turn it off. I don't know why you would ever set it to, like, just show it for a second. Probably it really just needs to have on or off, and on would be seven seconds. I, why would you ever change this, but whatever. Uh, and there's also been some other little, other little touches. I did not mean to save and quit. <laughs> this is what happens when it's 3 a.m. I should seriously be going to bed, but, uh, I just finished off something super cool that I want to show. So, I will do that. You'll notice it saved the volume setting. I guess that was a good test. Uh, another little thing, these instructions down here telling you how, you know, kind of what you're doing and also reminding people, check your menu because this is when you can upgrade your ship. Uh, when you can change your inventory. I did that in reverse order. Uh, we're just going to blame the tiredness. We're just going to blame that for everything. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you can you can do all that stuff, you know, only when you're at the sector screen, and I really wanted to remind players that. Um, it's super obvious to me, but I doubt it's obvious to anyone else. So there we go. I, I don't know about the lining up here. I lined up the middle with the middle. Let's see. So that's, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, but let me show off the cool thing I wanted to show off, uh, which is, you can see I'm going to uncomment a little code here, to start you off on the ninth level with three fuel, and I just made them colors. I don't know here. Let's make it yellow just to be silly. Um, and you know, I'm not gonna say anymore. Let's let's just watch it. Watch it in action. Uh, so start a new game. Call it ha 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 because we're totally cheating here. Uh, you can see I've got fuel on the sector map. That never happens. So let's just get out of here. Never mind. We're done with sector nine. It's time for a little cutscene. So as usual, all this stuff can be random. Uh, the colors and everything. Oh, oh. And this is a little cutscene. You can't control anything. Scanning sounds like little clicks. All right. So we've scanned this mysterious. Right. That's the whole story. Um, <laughs> you scan the mysterious. You can see obviously some things aren't quite working. And then you're taken right back in to the level where you have to do it again. So, you know, let's see if I can survive. I'm terribly ill. Ooh, sorry, hiccups or something, or yawns, I don't even know, a combination. Uh, I'm, I'm ill-equipped to uh, handle this. Here's a new enemy, by the way. So this guy is a super dick and aims his bullets at you, and he's shooting really fast because he's really high level. There's so many things I could ramble about right now. I got killed. Oh, that's an enemy. I thought that was a power-up. Oh my god, I may have to fix that. Anyway, what I was going to show off, uh, you may have noticed that I finished the level, and then I got that thing, and I went straight back to the level, uh, and had no time to equip or do any of that kind of stuff, that's intentional. Uh, at first it was kind of incidental, and then I was like, hold on a sec, that's kind of like the the boss. You know, I mean, like, usually, I don't know about usually, but in many roguelikes, you descend through all of the floors, and you get to the bottom, and not only do you have to collect the amulet of fantasy name here, or, or whatever item, you know, uh, you have to beat up a boss, typically. Or at least typically in my experience, I, there's so many roguelikes, I, I probably shouldn't say typically. But, but anyway, there, oftentimes there's a boss there. And I'm not prepared to do any boss kind of AI at this point. It's some, definitely something I'd like to do in the future. It's something I've been thinking about. Uh, but So anyway, for now, or maybe for always, I thought, hey, we'll make you do the last two levels um, right in a row, back to back. You, you, you get no time to switch equipment. And it's not quite the last two levels, right? Because you have to go all the way back. So it's, it's kind of a boss fight at the end in the sense that it's going to be a little challenge, whatever. So two levels in a row, then you go back and, and you can do your normal your normal thing as you go back through the levels. I want to be point. I'm wiggling my hands in the air. So you'd finish this level, right? Scan stuff. Come back here, no break. So you've done level nine twice, basically. And then you can go back one at a time and, and do these things. Um, 
The other thing I was going to mention is that the enemies right now get tougher as you go from level to level. I don't well, I, like not not just that I'm adding meaner enemies, but that like each individual enemy they get more health, their weapons deal more damage, their bullets fire faster, all that kind of thing. I think rather than that, I'd rather just throw more of them at you. I think that's more see that's more like action shooty appropriate maybe not more rogue appropriate uh but this doesn't have to be roguelike in all in all respects i mean it is a shooter game and i would like to get that shooter feel so i think as the levels go on you know we'll be introducing new enemies but rather than making the old enemies more powerful again it's just going to be like more enemies coming on the screen and so by the end it's just going to be a horrible swarm, and, and you can have fun uh, trying to survive that. <laughs> and it's going to, you know, it's, it's all going to take balance work. I'm, I'm going to have to play around with that uh, and, and get everything just right. Anyway, this is a bad test. I mean, I, I have no equipment uh, at this point because I just cheated myself to the end. So let's not even save and quit. I'm just going to close it. That works, by the way. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, again, some little UI things, some things I didn't mention that are in the change log. Um, various... Uh, UI things to kind of help uh, help let you know what the potions, the alien artifacts are doing to you. Um, you know, when, when your shield is disabled or rather than the bar just going down and, and not refilling, it goes down, doesn't refill, and the word shield blinks red to alert you, hey, your shield's bad, bad, bad news. Bad news bears, bad news shields. I can't think of something alertive. Shitty news, news shields? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, things like that. Um, so yeah, little UI completeness stuff, and I'm going to do these little cutscenes for scanning. As you saw, it needs a little bit of work. Uh, and then also some sort of cutscene for when you win and, and bring the, the information back. Uh, and then I think that will be released. I'm, I'll add a new enemy, as always. I'm trying to do one enemy per release, just to make sure I have a constant amount of, of enemies out. But then that will be the, uh, the release for 0.2.4. So, done rambling as always. I need to get to bed because i got to wake up for work tomorrow. This is uh, bad life decisions, but, but I, don't know. I, I don't know. I was at a good point. I really wanted to finish that little cutscene and, and record it and uh, upload it to YouTube and then just pass out while it's uploading. <laughs> so hopefully I do everything right uh, on the first try. Anyway, thank you again for uh, watching and everything. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Hopefully I'll have a, a new release out for, you know, 2.4. 0.2.4 uh, for you guys to download before too long. Uh, so yeah, th thanks again, and again, and again, and again, and good night. <laughs>